Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to evaluate the limit if it exists. We have the limit as t approaches 0 of 1 over t minus 1 over t squared plus t. So what we have to do here is we have to combine these fractions and simplify it so that we're not dividing by t anywhere and creating a 0 in the denominator. So what we're going to do is you multiply the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction, second by the denominator of the first, and that will give you the same denominator. You have a common denominator that you can then um, subtract these two to turn them into one fraction. So we have the limit as t approaches 0 of 1 over t times t squared plus t over t squared plus t minus 1 over t squared plus t times t over t. What this is going to give us is the limit as t approaches 0 of t squared plus t times 1 is just t squared plus t over in the denominator t cubed plus t squared minus t times 1 is just t t over the same denominator. So we have the limit as t approaches 0 of, these have the same denominator right now, so we can subtract the numerators, t squared plus t minus t over t cubed plus t squared. t minus t is 0, so we have t squared over, in the denominator, we can factor out a t squared to give us t plus 1. t squareds can cancel. We're left with the limit as t approaches 0 of 1 over t plus 1. Now we can plug in 0 because we will not be dividing by 0. 1 over 0 plus 1 is 1 over 1, which is 1. Therefore, the value of this limit is 1.